Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here with a, uh, another quick little review thing I've got going. So LBT has their little hydration pouch thing. They've uh, recently made some uh, improvements to it and I want to give a quick look at that because I just hooked one up today. So starting with the original, you had a more uh, tall design here. As you can see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six layers of molly going on, but it also sticks out quite a bit. Relatively tall, 70 meters, hydration system. And in here you've got your general nomenclature and everything. And the uh, new one actually uses the same nomenclature and everything, although it is a smaller in design. Also you have some potential frame. This is insulated, so it will keep your uh, water cool to an extent. And yeah, so relatively long. This is the old model that I was initially using, which being too long and actually a little bit too heavy, caused issues with the play carrier, which is why I swapped it out. Now the new one that they came out with, as you can tell real quick, this one was uh, Data manufacturers December 2011, so a while ago, definitely a while. And here's the newer one, which is significantly smaller, as you may notice. Uh, there we go, that's a good shot, bottom to bottom. It's a bit shorter, so they made it a bit fatter as well. But again, similar thing, same information, everything, same nomenclature for the material. But this one's made, it was uh, data manufacturer April 2014. This one actually came out shortly after I bought this one. And this one, as you can see, uses one, two, three, four layers of molly, which is two less than the other one, which means that this one isn't going to stick out past the molly of your play carrier. Now, speaking of, with the play carrier here, if we take this one and we were to mount it from the very top there, you'll notice that it sticks out past the bottom quite a ways. Yes? Yes, and that could be a problem, else it'll hit any battle belt or dump pouch or any extra gear you have on your belt that you might be worried. The new one, however, you'll see that it actually comes up just short of being way too long and it fits actually quite nicely on the play carrier to make it far more viable now much like the older one this one also uses three layers of molly so i can force it in here next to my uh ifac if i so choose this one similar this one's a bit fatter so it's going to stick out maybe a wee bit more but it'll also hold 70 milliliters of water and that's not that's not the only improvement that's been made between these two which is something i also found interesting now when i got the original individual one here it came with a relatively generic source made in Israel sort of a hydration bladder. 70 milliliters, sure. Nice little green, a bit padding. It does use the standard clip so you can use your air filters with it. Has a bit of the uh, older design of a hose protector and heater thing. It does use a little source valve. Pull this off. You've got your bite and twist general hydration thing which is starting to get dirty and actually need some cleaning, but that's aside the point for the moment. So, because your general host thing going there, relatively nice, 70 milliliters. The new one, however, the new one, they pulled out the plugs and they made everything bold, super hydro pack Marrgh, hose, which has the newer, actually high friction sort of uh, insulation. And as you can see, this one has, has a fill light and has a fill line. It has your uh, uh, remaining milliliters up to 70 and this one actually has a quick little velcro attachment not velcro a uh, elastic attachment here you slide that off and you have your little your little safety hold pins here pop that open this one has two little tabs you pull that open that's how you insert your water and then you can slide that back on either direction you so choose and yeah this is gonna be more of a preview for this one i've actually haven't tried this one so i don't know what the flavor or anything or how everything's gonna work out it's still micro bio micro microbial and all that good stuff the official hydro pack steel here, uh, philatium free, BPA free, PVC free, hydro pack designed in California, USA, made in Taiwan. So yeah, um, Fibra is there, of course, LBX, made in the U USA, so the actual pouch is going to be made in the USA, and the uh, little hydration packet here is going to be made in Taiwan, this is one made in Israel, and as you might notice, this one has no markings whatsoever, as for the attachment part here, it's connected by a little string. This one slides off relatively challengingly and then this hangs free. Pull this open, there's a little tab in there. So that's how you would fill this one up. And then it's a bit of a pain to put it back together. This is a bit of a, uh, a bit of a slice in there. So it's not the most comfortable of all things, but it works. So I would definitely say with the improvements they made, it would be worth upgrading to the newer one. As far as the valve goes, this one has another uh, another cap to keep it safe from mud and everything. It has a little bite down valve here, and yes, you can twist it on and off to to ensure if the water the uh, water will actually flow through the tube when you bite through it. So, 
little tab so you can use your filter and everything. So, yeah, that's pretty much the main differences I've noticed. I'll actually give it a try out in the field, see how all that works out, and let you guys know from there. So, that's all I have for this video. Stay chivalrous, everyone. I will see you next time. Cheers.